Hey, what is up, Yaush Alliance? My name is Matt Goldsman, and this is actually the first video I've made for Alliance. Um, what this is, this is a hack of Super Mario World called Bowser Rampages again. And for those of you who don't know, in the mid-2000s, people basically found out how to make hacks of the original Super Mario World using a program and assembly code and mixed it together and just made awesomeness. Anyway, as for this one, Bowser Rampages again. Once again, Bowser is trying to take on his revenge on Mario. As usual, it's up to you to take down that burly king of Koopas. So basically, there are hundreds of these hacks around online, and I wanted to show them off to Alliance, because not everyone knows of their existence, and most of them are actually pretty good. Uh, I'm on vacation. Don't bother trying to search for me, Yoshi. Wow, Yoshi's kind of a jerk in this game. We've only been friends... We've been friends with Yoshi our whole lives, and now he's just like, yeah, don't bother trying to look for me, jerk. But as you can see, um, gotcha. Um, these hacks are very well done, usually. And I personally really like them, and I do them on my channel quite a bit. Um, in case you're wondering, my channel can be found over at youtube.com slash gamerscast. The username's dsdude1107, but... My name's GamersCast on there. There's a redirect. It works. Don't really question it. Just go with the flow. Um, but yeah. Uh, a little bit about myself. I've been seriously LPing and making videos for about two years now. Uh, making Mario Hacks videos relatively recently. Um, another thing a lot of people don't know is people actually uh, make hacks for the new Super Mario Brothers that came out on the Wii. Um, those aren't quite as prevalent or as well done as these yet, but they're still out there and pretty plentiful. If you wanted to go get your hands on a hack like this yourself, you can usually grab them from supermarioworldcentral.net. Because there are a lot of these, I mean hundreds. Now usually the style I do on my channel is I'll usually do LPs completely blind. And when I do that, it, I, I find that, I don't know, I feel like reactions are more legitimate, and yeah, it, I find I have more legitimate reactions and have a bit more of a fun time when I have blind LP. Dang it. Alright, another thing you have to know about me, when I'm doing Mario hacks, these things range in difficulty a lot. So if I die, I will save state. Right now I'm using the ZSNES emulator to run the IPS patch for this game. Oh god! Charging Chuck. What can you do? I didn't get the bonus, but I don't care. So yeah, um, in this in Mario hacks, I tend to save state a lot because, well, these hacks range in difficulty, and no one wants to see the same part of the level twice if I've already played it. So I'll just save you the time, push the back arrow key, and state. Um, right now I'm using a SNES controller, USB controller, which I bought, which actually makes this game a lot more fun than I would find it on a keyboard and mouse. Come on. Aw, oh, can't coax him over. Oh well. But, I find I'm pretty good at Mario Hex, and I really enjoy doing them. Hopefully you guys will appreciate these as well. Oh boy! <sighs> Try being fancy. Look how that one worked out. Oh well, got the free life. Not like it matters considering a state in these playthroughs, but whatevs. Come on. Oh god! <laughs> Parachuting Koopas. Now, if you're wondering, it is physically possible to play uh, Mario Hacks on an actual Super Nintendo, but the thing is, it's incredibly impractical to do, because first off, you'll need a flash cart that costs like 150 bucks or so. Then you need to you have the actual game and you need to load the ROMs on there. Which really, in itself, isn't that big of a deal, but the issue then is, people usually jam-pack so much stuff into these hacks, that odds are your SNES will probably crash, occasionally. Wow, I made it. Talk about a leap of faith. But yeah, that's just a bit about me. On my channel, I do these kind of hacks, I do normal games, new releases, all sorts of fun stuff. It's just a, essentially just a big party. It's awesome. And I have fun with it. Again, that's youtube.com slash gamerscast. Um, for those of you who are interested. 
Um, now, like I said, I usually do blind LPs on this channel, or on my main channel. But um, for this hack, I've actually played this once before. Not, well, not the full hack. But you see, I had a long plane ride I had to go through. And I was like, oh, what can I do for the plane ride? So I sat down, played this hack a little bit. And I was like, wow, this is actually such a good hack. I want to LP this. So I figured what better hack or what better thing to do for my first Alliance video than a Mario hack. I mean, it's a very underrated form of entertainment. Hacks, mods, that whole deal. Oh, God. That was possibly the stupidest thing I could have done there. Boing! But yeah, all fun and good. Now, a lot, one thing a lot of people who do Mario hacks do, I can't stand is whenever they'll lose a power-up, they'll save state. And be like, oh, I can't lose that. That just annoys me, because then it's just getting to the point where it just gets tedious and you just get bored with it. So if I lose, take a hit, like that, I'm not gonna be like, oh man, I want that fire flower back, Because then stupid crap like that ends up happening. So I'm just gonna take the hit because I took a hit before. Just to make it fair. Although some hacks, occasionally they'll make you keep power-ups. Like, hacks are notorious for a few things, like, really, really annoying boo houses, like, more annoying than retail, uh, peace switch puzzles, and, uh, what else do they do? Koopa shell hopping, which is terrible. I hate Koopa shell hopping. Oh my goodness! What are the odds I would land on a charging chuck? Eight. Wow, I honestly didn't even think I hit that. Whatever. But yeah, I fully intend to do this um, full walkthrough on the Alliance channel. So, that'll be fun. Because my style isn't really singular videos. Mine is more like giant LPs that take forever. Although, Mario World hacks usually take like maybe, I don't know, like 20 parts or so. Ha ha ha, at last my newest plan has gone into effect. I will finally have the... You know, some hacks don't even try with the plot. That's pretty evident. Other hacks will get incredibly fancy with it. I'd be like... I don't know, some hacks made... Like, hacks can take raw assembly code, the way they're coded. Um, and this leads for... Wow, this is going to be an interesting jump. Got it! Oh, boy. And this leads for some incredibly interesting hacks. Like, there was one hack I'm thinking about doing on my channel where the objective is to find a way to kill yourself. Sounds easy, right? No. Oh, boy. But, yeah. Uh, hacks. Another thing they're notorious for that the full game didn't do is spin jumping. Although, I just tend to love spin jumping on my own. And crouch jumping. Crouch jumping is just fun. Look at that. I don't know, I feel like I have more control when I crouch jump, believe it or not. But, yeah. I've been doing my channel, my channel for about two years now. Uh, well, like I said, I've been going full force with it for two years. I've had it since, like, summer 06. But I didn't really get serious with it until recently. Like, I've been going to YouTube conventions and stuff lately. Oh, it's been great. It has just been fun ever since Yaush, um took me on board, which I'm still incredibly grateful for, because I finally am basically doing this as a profession, like, I'm just a college student, so I have summer jobs and all that stuff. This is the first year in, like, eight years that I haven't needed a summer job, thanks to this opportunity I've had by making YouTube videos, so it's great. Oh my goodness! Screw you, Bowser. Oh god, no, 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 no. Alright, we're good. As you can see, that's a spoof on the, um, well, not a spoof, but a mm, homage, I suppose, to the original game. It's all fun times. And that is Castle 1, everybody. Boom. As the castle was destroyed, Bowser was able to escape deep into the heart of his lands. If Mario is to rescue the princess, he will have to reach Bowser in his hideout. Sweet. Although I'm pretty sure he just fell into an endless abyss, but I'm, I'm not going to judge. Anyways, that's been it for me. 
Um, thanks to you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out more of mine over at youtube.com slash gamerscast. The username is dsdude1107. It's a redirect. Don't get confused. And thanks so much, guys. Next time, we will journey to Rocky Channel 1, which I'm assuming is a water level. And until next time, yowsh, damn it. Mm -hmm.